Good morning. It's Friday, February 24th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Jonah, Under His Shade Tree in a Snit, and our scripture is Jonah, Chapter 4. This change of plans greatly upset Jonah, and he became very angry, so he complained to the Lord about it. Didn't I say before I left home that you would do this, Lord? That is why I ran away to Tarshish. I knew that you are a merciful and compassionate God, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. You are eager to turn back from destroying people. Just kill me now, Lord. I'd rather be dead than alive if what I predicted will not happen. The Lord replied, Is it right for you to be angry about this? Then Jonah went out to the east side of the city and made a shelter to sit under as he waited to see what would happen to the city. And the Lord God arranged for a leafy plant to grow there, and soon it spread its broad leaves over Jonah's head, shading him from the sun. This eased his discomfort, and Jonah was very grateful for the plant. But God also arranged for a worm. The next morning at dawn, the worm ate through the stem of the plant so that it withered away. As the sun grew hot, God arranged for a scorching east wind to blow on Jonah. The sun beat down on his head until he grew faint and wished to die. Death is certainly better than living like this, he exclaimed. Then God said to Jonah, Is it right for you to be angry because the plant died? Yes, Jonah retorted, even angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, You feel sorry about the plant, though you did nothing to put it there. It came quickly and died quickly. But Nineveh has more than 120,000 people living in spiritual darkness, not to mention all the animals. Shouldn't I feel sorry for such a great city? Jonah was attempting to float an argument that never floats, that his anger was justified. He was angry at God for sending him to Nineveh, an arch enemy of his Jewish heritage, Jonah knew it was possible that city might respond to God's sovereignty, repent, and be saved. And that was the last thing Jonah wanted. He was angry at the Ninevites for their atrocities on his people. He didn't want God to forgive them. He wanted them toasted, extra crispy. This look into Jonah's character is also a peek behind our curtain. We are not at all different from Jonah, making excuses for our bad behavior, sulking when God doesn't incinerate our enemies, and blaming God for the awful mess that we've created for the next generation. We respond with ground troops or drone strikes. On a personal level, we turn to Jonah's shade bush for comfort. Drugs, alcohol, or building a bigger and better and much more lucrative mousetrap. And if that doesn't work to soothe our pouting, curmudgeon ways, we settle for making everyone else around us miserable with the same excuses Adam and Eve gave about their rebellion. They blamed God. Asked by God to account for his behavior, Adam replied, It was the woman you gave me who gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Jonah's life was many generations removed from the Garden of Eden, but nothing had changed about rebellion against God's ways, and it still hasn't to this very moment. The prophet predicted that, preaching about why a Messiah would have to die for our Jonah attitude and ways, Isaiah said, All of us like sheep have strayed away. We've left God's paths to follow our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. For you today, this Lenten season, stay away from Jonah's bush of complaints. Instead, hang out with the psalmist who said, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.